Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on the Creative Retreat channel today. And today I have a Bible journaling process for you featuring the new Tapestry of Grace February Faith Art Kit. And I'm so excited about this devotional. I've already digged in tons and I took some notes on um, a word study that I did after Julie told us the Hebrew word for cord. So I am going to be using some of um, the Faithful Digital, just a couple of elements. I've already started cutting some of these things out. I've pulled out some Creative Retreat colors that I think coordinate well, that I want to do a soft background with. So these will be linked below. I have the Faithful, I'm sorry, the cardstock stickers, and I want to use this stamp set. I'll link it below as well um, for my date. I have some of the other Faithful Digitals and um, the journaling cards. So yeah, I'm going to put you on fast forward and let's dig in. Okay, darling. So I start off here in my interleave Bible and I'm going to be using the smooshing method. I am going to use the Creative Retreat color Rose Corsage and I'm going to smoosh that onto some plastic packaging that you see here on my Bible. And then I'm going to add some water and just smoosh that into the page. And then was that's going to create just a soft background. You'll see that here in a minute. And I am not worried about the messiness of it. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry off. The background, I wanted a soft color, but I also wanted it to be messy. So when I added on the beautiful elements on top of it, it can kind of signify my messy life and then how God used that to rescue me. And so um, it's all about Jesus and about the grace that he extends us and how through him, our messy background of a life has became this beautiful um, tapestry of grace. So I go ahead and dry that off. You see me take a sip of my tea as I'm here. And then I'm going to add, I add some of the washi at the top and the bottom of my page. I'm sorry, I didn't record that part, but so now I'm going to grab some of the Faithful Digitals and I'm actually going to use one of the journaling cards on here to place um, in the middle of my page so I can add my title. So um, I make some decisions. I cut, end up cutting out one of those and I glue it to the middle of my page. And then I'm going to grab some of the cardstock stickers and I'm going to use two of the beautiful florals that come on there to add and to just add a little bit more framing and just frame around and this is going to add beautiful layers to this frame as well before i add in my title i love julie's writing and i think she does an amazing job just speaking about um first the cord uh, the scarlet cord that rahab used as a symbol and um, also then she goes through talking about how the cord is threaded through the Bible. This scarlet uh, cord shows us the atoning of the blood of Jesus and we see it through scriptures and she um, also has other scriptures that you can see how that scarlet cord has rescued us and rescued others in so many ways in the Bible. So um, I wanted to put as a title on this page, Jesus is the scarlet cord. He is the cord. Um, she talks here that the Hebrew word for cord is tikva. And this word has two meanings. First, the literal rope, which is um, several woven strands. And also it has a second Hebrew meaning, which means expectation and hope and things long for. And so on here on screen, you see me block off on the left-hand side that portion that I read, which is... Um, Joshua chapter 2 verses 1 through 24 and I put a little sticker that came with a cardstock stickers that says scarlet cord and then I'm going to do some journaling and in the journaling I want to tie in some of the word study that I did and also um, some of Julie's words and just create a beautiful prayer I love doing that and adding it to my journaling so I just talk to Jesus talk telling him that he is the cord that I hold on to. He is the expectation that I have. He is the hope in my heart. He is the thing that I long for. All of those things that is the definition of the Hebrew word cord, tikva. Those are the things that Jesus is to me. And for Jesus to continue to remind me that even though my background or my story may look messy, it's all part of the beautiful tapestry of grace that he is weaving in my life. And so I write that and I finish it off with a big amen. 
and I wanted to add some more black to the page so I go ahead and put my notes away and then I'm gonna grab some of the um, watercolors that I have in my stash and I'm gonna add some black splatters just to move that over on the left hand side I added the tab from the Faithful Digitals and added some washi just to um, tie in together all the colors of the kit and that is it that is it darlings i love how it turned out i love that i was able to incorporate some color and um just tons of color on this page that i usually don't mix all these colors together but this was really fun to put together and i'm going to link below this um kit just in case you haven't picked up the february faith art kit and also at the end of this video there will be a um, something you can click on so you can check out the rest of the videos that will be for this month thank you so much for joining me each and every video here on the creative retreat channel god bless bye